AMD just released a new driver, 25.2.1, marked as an optional driver that provides support for new games. Among the four new games listed, only Sid Meier's Civilization has been released, while the other three have not yet launched. Comparing the release notes between the new driver 25.2.1 and the previous driver 25.1.1, the known issues and improvements remain essentially the same. The only difference is that the new driver adds support for four new games, with only one of them currently released. If you're playing the newly released Sid Meier's Civilization, then you should update the driver. Otherwise, there's no need to update, as 25.2.1 is basically the same as 25.1.1. This way you can avoid wasting time recompiling shaders for each game again. Today I will test this new AMD driver 25.2.1 with lossless scaling. In lossless scaling settings, I set frame generation to LSFG 3.0 with X2 mode, resolution scale to 70%, and capture API to DXGI. The scaling type is optional. At 1200p with FSR set to quality, the game already looks good on this 8.8 inch screen, but for a sharper image, I recommend setting it to Snapdragon Game Super Resolution and adjusting sharpness to 8. Sync's mode is set to off for better latency, and max frame latency is set to 3, which is the recommended value for AMD. I also used RevaTuner to cap the FPS at 30. For my Legion settings, I set it to performance mode, with TDP, SPPT, and FPPT at 28 watts, OS power set to efficiency, display resolution at 1920 by 1244 hertz, and VRAM allocated to 6 gigabytes. Experience would not be the same, Floyd Lawton. I would never ask you to simply look upon renderings of Atlantis. It must be experienced. I kind of prefer pictures, actually. Oh, you did survive, yeah. Control the flow from within the ranks. Your 
sacrifices are greatly appreciated. Damn it, Charles. Those are cursed sea stones. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. May I be of any help? You stay put. We'll find the way. Charles is still here, and Esther is completely destroyed. She lost him, and now he's back, a ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made a manifest. Maybe. But there has to be more to it. That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind him of his favourite? to remind him that he had yet to beat me.